Okay, everybody is in the cage. I had the uh, house mother, the house mouse mother, and uh, and her six girls uh, in this cage for an hour after I cleaned it and everything, and they're half awake, and um, uh, yeah. So there's. And then I inter just introduced the fancy mice. So, so far everybody's okay. Um, there's going to be fights. But I think at this point they're okay. Um, the only massive thing is, uh, see there's the house mouse. The only one that might get in trouble is the house mouse. Um, there we go. So, there's going to be fights. Uh, that spaz, that white and this one, that spaz, she's the only one I'm afraid of hurting the babies. Uh, the rest of them are really good with new mice, but spaz is not. Spaz freaks out at her own shadow. So, yeah, so everybody's in the same cage. Um, there's going to be a little bit of bickering between that mainly the mother um they should be okay with the babies uh like i'm saying i took the old bedding and i put the house mice's uh bedding in here so it should smell mostly like them than the other mice that being said Everybody's freaking out. Part of that is, is I just cleaned the cage, so for about every two, for about an hour or two, they just like to check out the cage. So they're gonna run around the cage, and uh, check everything out. And uh, of course, because it's clean, they're gonna do just mark everything for like the first hour. So um, I did turn the world upside. I do it every single time I clean the cage. They check everything out. So I figure if I can, if everybody's happy, look at this baby freaking out. If everybody's happy for about two hours, and it is their bedtime. This is normally when they sleep. So everybody's going to be super active for about 30 minutes, I'm hoping. And then, uh, and then after that 30 minutes, they will uh, probably go to bed and... When they wake up in about three hours, that's when uh, that's when I'm really worried about spaz. Uh, oh, there she go. Uh, that's when I'm really worried about spaz hurting the babies. And uh, hopefully at that point they'll be getting used to each other. There's spaz. Like she, oh, there she goes already. Uh, so yeah, so. They're going to throw each other's weight around. There's going to be some fights. Um, I'm just hoping the babies don't get hurt. And Nella's really good about protecting babies. And um, she is the dominant one. The only thing is, Spaz is, uh, don't you dare. Spaz is freaked out at everything. And especially new things. Spaz. So... If Nella can keep her in line, uh, she'll be all right. And if you did the math, seven plus seven, I have 14 mice in here. And it is a uh, 55 gallon, 10 gallon, 10 gallon. So, and how it's laid out, it's actually bigger than that. You know, it, it's not one cage there's tons of jumping opportunities and such um but there's going to be fighting there's just uh it's everybody doing who's dominant and uh we'll see <laughs> so that's all i can do because at this point with seven of them it's it ain't their house their house mice, so I can't just set them on a desk, you know. 
or even separate them because if I even try to or put them in a cage because if I try to separate them they're going to uh, they're going to uh, uh, they're just going to jump around and probably most likely escape so like look at that look at that baby she's already getting along so there's going to be she's walking around like she's her mother so there's going oh there we go so there's going to be a couple squirrels this is where they sleep this is where nella sleeps so i don't know how that's going to go over they have i'm going i put plenty of food in there um plenty of look here uh plenty of the good actually gerbil food but they love it and then plenty of grubs so they have lots of food but there's a, there isn't like one big treat they can fight over right now usually i put one big treat and they all kind of like a, a piece of stale bread they love that or a dog biscuit they love that uh those peanut butter ones you get for like a dollar uh they love that so and that'll last like a week so I mean, they're getting along. Even the mother is doing better than I thought. She isn't, uh, look, look at, uh, look at the baby being all aggressive. So, that's my oldest mouse right there. That's straight. Uh, she's my oldest mouse. And she's a lot less aggressive. And she's checking out, uh, mother was, uh, I'm calling her mother. Mother was, uh, Oh, look at her. Mother was nesting right there. So. So there's the babies. Like I'm saying, she's being a bit aggressive, but not terribly bad. I mean, these guys ain't that bad. Like I'm saying, I'm hoping they're going to uh, get, figure out what's going on. More, this is more about checking the cage out at this point and uh, I'm hoping they're going to go to sleep after about 30 minutes to an hour because this is normally I woke everybody up. I waited till everybody was groggy uh, almost going to sleep and then I woke everybody up and I introduced everybody so I'm hoping I'm hoping it's going to go over well and uh, I'm saying, there's Spaz, and she's got lots of treats right now. So uh, it's going to be a treat fest here in the next, oh, there we go. So there's a little fight. Yeah, a little tail rattling. Yeah. So like I'm saying, she is my most aggressive, and uh, I think she just found the mother. Hey, Spaz. Spaz, come on. So... It's going to be interesting, but it's one of those deals where you just got to let it play out because no matter how I do this, there's going to be fights. And I mean, there's a difference between fights and hurting each other. Spaz is the one that she's actually, she, uh, she ran against a mouse that wanted to dominate her and she wasn't having it. So... I don't know if the mouse was sick. I think the mouse was sick. But the mouse uh, looks like it had a seizure like three days after I got it. And I don't know if it was because they were fighting with it or what. But that was a house mouse. Uh, that wasn't a fancy mouse. And uh, so even introducing new fancy mice, she's aggressive. So and she's checking that out. I left that peanut butter thing in there. And that's what they were nesting in. So there's lots of stuff for them to check out. And I'm hoping... I'm hoping they're not going to just... I'm hoping they're not going to kill the babies. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, so the babies are actually still young. And I'm hoping that they're young and they'll kind of 
the females will see that they're young and it'll go over well <laughs> uh, because they're young mice. They're not adults. Um, we'll see. <laughs> so that's my update. Everybody's in the same cage. Everybody's checking everything out. I'm saying I have a couple mice that are super, super good and then others that are not like spaz so we'll see hopefully she doesn't hurt any yeah hopefully it'll be okay all right but everybody's on high alert like here i mean i think she's okay with the baby she looked right at that one so it's more about the mother uh than anything so because the mother uh is going to try to fight the babies not so much the babies should get along and uh i mean here here's a baby she's freaked out of course uh but they don't really mind and i'm hoping that's that'll be all right so what are you doing monk monk is my uh yeah don't step on her head <laughs> so yeah But Nella is going to, she's checking everybody out. She's actually really good with house mice. Uh, no, 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 worried about a spaz. Spaz is working off some aggression. Spaz is on the, uh, the toy and that squeaks. Squeaks likes to play on the saucer. So... The picking order goes Nella and then Spaz. Even though Spaz is runs from her own shadow and hides most of the time, she is dominant. But Nella is the one that really won't hurt mice. She just grooms the heck out of them. So, yeah. Go ahead and climb up there, Nella. Check everything out. So anytime I clean the cage, I rearrange the sticks. So... They always, it's like a new cage every single time. So, but I don't hear anybody getting tore up right off the bat. There's the house mice, house, the mother mouse. And she is freaking out. So, but she has ran. She hasn't done any chasing. So, or, well, she did it. There we go. She's mostly running, um, which is good. Because the running is uh, is submissive. Uh, she did start building a nest here. I got already got dirt in there. Oh well. Uh, she started building a nest right there. Two nesting areas. I pretty much I know if they're covered, they'll make a nest. So they'll make a nest right here and right there. Maybe there a little bit. And they also like to sleep up in this little cover thing. Uh, they also like to sleep in there. Um, but there's plenty of nesting and opportunities for them to be separate. And eventually they will, uh, and I'm sure within a week or two, they'll all be together in one big old nest. Especially if I let it get cold here one night. So, yeah. So... Right there, she was chasing after her, and uh, she pretty much stopped her in her tracks. So, saying Spaz is the only one I'm afraid of. She just throwing her weight around. They got to do this. So, so there's the house mouse. Mouse, <laughs> I'm half awake too. Nothing like working a lot of hours and then coming home and then cleaning a cage for three hours. So that you can introduce mice and watch them as much as you can. Uh, so we're going to see. Uh, I'll give you an update in like a week. Because there's going to be fighting. And there's no point in even showing it. Because it's, it's the kind of fighting that lasts for all of about 20 seconds. Uh, even if they catch each other. It's usually just one standing out. One submitting. Uh, so... 
And what's fun is uh, Spaz is going to be aggressive towards everybody here in about half an hour. She'll just go around throwing her weight around. So, see, there we go. This is my wheel. Get off. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Spaz is going to throw her weight around. I'm hoping that she's not going to be too aggressive towards the babies. See, the mother is trying to get a nest going right here. She's trying to get an area established. So, yeah, there's one of the babies sitting right in the nest she was making. So, I think that's going to be a nest. And, uh, yeah. Hi, Spaz. Hi. Yeah, I put these sticks right close to the cage. So, yeah, the sticks are real close. They're heavy on the front here, so I can watch them. Normally, I put them heavy in the rear uh, so that it's open in the front, but I really wanted to watch them this time around. So this, the sticks are heavily, heavily in the front. And it looks like they're, they go all over the place, but basically there's like an inch plus between the sticks. So there's lots of jumping opportunities. Uh, so we'll see. Yeah. Uh, once again, let it run longer than I wanted it to. Uh, 14 mice and one water. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to run one water. I'm just going to have to figure out how much you're going to use. Even once a day, it won't be that bad. I'd rather have one water than two waters. Uh, if I have to, I would go to two waters. The babies should be able to reach that. I'm going to have to watch it. If I have to put a bigger stick in, I will. Uh, they should be able to reach it. They know to drink. They know where the water is, or what water is. They know where grubs are, so everybody should be good. But, yeah, she's going to be freaked out for a couple hours until everybody goes to sleep. So, there's going to be some fighting. There's some tail rattling right there. That being said, she's going to run right by her. So, there's going to be some tail rattling. Uh, just what it is. Alright, I'll update you guys in a week.